knew I should have had caffeine this morning. All right. Hi, I'm Phil Harding, and I'm part of the Storm Chasers team. Now, I know everybody likes to introduce their team right off the bat, but I have a very good reason why I'm going to introduce them at the end. I took a team photo, and it sort of turned out okay, but we're going to look at that in a little bit. First, no. All right, our project report. Uh, we're going to come out swimming right away. You guys are not going to love us for this, but we have a completed project report that is already posted. Valerie posted that, what, Thursday night? And uh, we have ours up. We only have maybe a couple of things to iron out. Uh, and it's on our SharePoint site. Our team is really great with communication. And I think that's the reason we've moved so far along. And I think it's helped that our group has had um, a variety of expertise, meaning we all bring something to the table that's different. And that helped in uh, forming our, our plan and putting it together and make sure that we ironed out all the little things from staff development to the budget. And believe me, you haven't lived till you've seen Rob and Chuck argue over a budget. <laughs> All right, completed research findings. <laughs> we have completed our research findings, and we eliminated some things that we originally thought when we sat down at the table and first started the project. Some of the uh, items and some of the companies we thought we would use their product, we threw them out as we went on. And it's process elimination. And we narrowed it down to two products. Um, and we've made it so that you could choose one or the other and get the same cost, pretty much, with give or take about a dollar, okay, per person or per student. Um, intelligent choices. That's all in our report on how to make intelligent choices, and that will be a big part of our presentation. Every district has a different need by its size, and you need to look at that. You can have a small, uh, little, tiny district out in the middle of the desert to a medium-sized district, like the one that Matt and I come from, to a district that is huge and has more employees than I know what they're doing with in San Francisco. But anyway, intelligent choice is what works best for any school district, um, and that's one of the things we're going to hammer as we put this together. We've also, get this, we have established a demo site already, uh, both with ClassLink, who is going to come to our presentation, by the way, we'll talk about that in a moment, and San Diego County has given us our own cloud with demo. Uh, accounts and one of the things we're going to try to do in our presentation is maybe have several Android tablets that we pass out uh, in the audience so that they can demonstrate a live cloud. Hey, you can't beat that, can you? All right, uh, we want to talk about one thing that we are doing. We have I'm a Cumulus Elementary School that's going to be our pilot. And uh, yes, Mr. Weatherby, the principal there, uh, has only 150 students at the fifth grade level, five classes, five teachers, and that has been uh, the reason we selected fifth grade is one of us <clears throat> used to be a fifth grade teacher. So that brings some uh, staff development expertise. We have 150 students and five staff. Uh, our return on investment, return on investment on, on what we've looked at, and that was really one of the concerns of the entire group. Uh, Rob works a lot on the back end, and his input has been so valuable, as well as Chuck uh, working with one of the vendors makes us realize that we want you to get more out of your devices. We all talk in here and assume in those current economic conditions, just don't watch, look at Wall Street Journal last night, but in current economic conditions, we can't go out and buy tablets. We've got to use what we have. We've got to use the older machines. There's old machines we have in the warehouse that are sitting there getting no mileage. Why not put them to use? Put them to work. Let's extend our dollars. You'll be the biggest fan the school board ever had if we can extend their budget. It's multi-layered staff development. We're approaching staff development from three ways, in the classroom, online, and also we worked in staff development time into the class. Uh, just off the top of my head, I know we could do this as a pilot for about three grand, depending on how hard we negotiate with one of the vendors on this service contract. The service contract is assuming you're going to have a larger, way larger number than 150. I'm sure we can get that at a fraction of the cost. SEPA conference coming up, we are ready. We feel ready, we, could, we feel like we could do this next week. We have a unique format and uh, the way we're gonna present our findings. Uh, we hammered this out over the summer. You put four brains in a room together and come up with something interesting and unique. However, we're not using the weatherman, but that's another story. Presentation uh, outline skeleton is coming together. As we've gone along, we've always kept this in mind. What is our end product? What are we gonna present and how are we gonna do it? So we've been putting it together uh, with this whole skeleton being the guide. And last, uh, we're considering bringing your own device and using them in the presentation. But once again, the caveat is try to use what you have. Okay? Um, 
And like I said, we're going to have live class uh, demos. And Chuck came up with a great idea that we're going to have uh, both vendors in the back of the room, not being part of the discussion or anything, but you know, a little Q&A afterwards never hurts anybody. Uh, here's our team photo. <laughs> Rob, is this photo you sent We got Phil, Rob, Chuck, Val, you've gotten to know us over uh, the last few weeks. And I don't know how this happened. We got a, a Chuck King quote, and I, I don't know how this happened. Let me go and make sure that this comes up, or I hope this works. This sounds like it. Thank you. <laughs>